Hey guys, my name's Samantha. Welcome to Top Dog Tips. Um, if you aren't familiar with our site, check us out. It's topdogtips.com. You can also find us all over um, Facebook and social media. So uh, I share recipes every week. And today I want to share some delicious berry yogurt dog cookies with you. You are going to want to eat these yourself. I love making these for my dogs. They really enjoy them and they're so, so simple. So the first thing you're going to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And then you're going to take your ingredients and just mix them together. It's that easy, no prep work, I love it. So the first thing I have is one cup of pureed berries. And I use blackberries and blueberries because that was what was available to me. Um, there are other different kinds of berries that are great for dogs. Blackberries and blueberries are two of the best. Blueberries are full of antioxidants. They're super healthy, they're really super food for dogs. Um, but it, as long as you use a berry, just um, you know, do a quick Google search or call your vet really quick and ask if uh, if you're thinking of using something different if it's safe for dogs but most berries are safe for dogs um, so I use blackberries and blueberries there is a cup of pureed berries in there there's one teaspoon of vanilla extract I have half a cup of plain yogurt and you want to make sure to use plain don't use flavored yogurt um, if you see my other videos you know that there are uh, a lot of added um, sugars calories just added um, ingredients artificial ingredients in flavored yogurt that you don't need and your dog doesn't need uh, so plain yogurt you can use either regular plain yogurt or Greek yogurt it doesn't matter I have two-thirds of a cup of oats these are just quick oats and again, all you're going to do is just mix all of these together. It's going to form a dough. And then um, you're going to, just like cookie dough, you're going to cut out your cookies and bake those. So I'm going to give this a toss right now because the last ingredient is flour. So I want to get these all mixed up well before I add that and make the dough there. Okay. And then um, here I have... And then the last ingredient I have one and two thirds cup of whole wheat flour. I'm gonna add that in there and then as you stir that, that's gonna form your dough and you'll notice that it starts to dry out and turn into uh, more of a dough. If it's a little bit too runny and sticky, you can add a little bit more flour, but you shouldn't need to. Okay, so my dough is all mixed. You'll see it here, it's a little bit sticky. You can see, but um, it, there's no more liquid. It's all absorbed, so that's what you're looking for. And then what you want to do is um, just with a spoon, take a little bit. I've got a grease cookie sheet here, and you want to just drop your little cookies right onto the grease cookie sheet. You can kind of squish them down if you want to, but they don't need to be super thin. And these aren't going to rise or anything while they're baking, so you can put them close together, no big deal. Once your cookie sheet's full, you're going to bake them. Your oven will be preheated by then to 350 degrees. And you just want to bake them for 15 to 20 minutes. You'll notice that they start to get hard and look a little bit crumbly when they're done. Um, and that's it. Your berry yogurt dog cookies are done after that. Uh, you can store them in an airtight container in the refrigerator for 7 to 10 days. Um, also, if you want to, you can freeze them if you want to make like a, a double or a triple batch, make a whole bunch of them uh, so you don't have to prep them all the time. You can freeze them in an airtight container for about three months. So that is it and you will have some berry yogurt dog treats. If you guys have any questions, be sure to shoot me an email. Uh, my address is samantha at topdogtips.com. Again, you can jump on our website and find all our contact information there uh, or of course on uh, any of our social media pages. You can leave send messages or leave comments on there and those will all get back to me. So uh, if there's anything, any type of special type of recipe that you're looking for, let me know. If you have questions about this recipe, I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll see you next time.